Hey, have you wondered what all the hoopla is about Plasma 6 and Nixos? Well, stay tuned. Now, I initially had planned for a live video and I was just going to set up Plasma 6, Hyperland, my development system, and everything else kind of all in one go. Like, you know, just take three or four hours and just knock it all out. Unfortunately, though, I had a little bit of a change in plans, and that is primarily because I couldn't get the NDI plugin to work on OBS, and so I had to do individual videos. So I just wanted to make a quick video on Plasma 6. There was a few things that I had a little trouble with when it came to recording my screen and so this is kind of the result of that video hey do you like my content hey be sure to smash that subscribe button and you can hit the notification bell if you feel so inclined to do so okay so pretty much everything is very similar if you've been if you're coming from plasma 5 you can see that you're able to change the icons, the themes, and a lot of other things. And I just have to say that it pretty much works just the same. Now, I didn't really change a whole lot. The only thing that I added on this when I was actually setting it up was wobbly windows. And that was really easy to set it up. And again, um, there's, you can do a lot of different things. Like if you wanted to do advanced mode, whatever you wanted to do, you pretty much can do it. There really wasn't anything else that I changed out of the box. Um, as you can see, if you wanted to like, say, get more wallpapers, for example, it's really easy to do it, just like in Plasma 5. There's really no differences here. The only thing that I would say here is that I think they have uh, uh, some new wallpapers that I think are really cool. But uh, you could probably set auto start. You could also set your own themes, your own icons. They're very easy to install and, you know, you can change, you know, how, how the overall look is. You can change from a light theme to a dark theme. Now, I don't know why you would ever want a light theme, but God bless you if you do. Um, and then it's just really easy to change your everything that you want it. Basically customize it. It's very easy to do and you can set your own uh, cursor you can there's so many things that you can set up on on plasma and um there was a few things that did surprise me but these are basically the things that i pretty much expected going in like you can see like there's some real estate up on the top of the screen between the bar and the screen and when you put it in full size th that real estate disappears now some things that did surprise me uh, i have to say configuring this panel really kind of surprised me a little bit it really i don't know how to say it uh it feels very different than configuring the panel in Plasma 5. It, it really does feel really different. And so that's something that you're probably going to have to contend. Like, for example, when I resized it, um, it didn't, it wouldn't resize to the center and I couldn't figure that part out. Like the alignment was to the center, everything. I, I couldn't figure out why it wouldn't do that. So maybe I need to fuss around with it a little bit, but as you can see, it, it would just, you know, line to the right. And I'm not sure why that was. I'll have to uh, take a closer look and maybe it, there's something that I'm doing. 
So I basically just tried to resize it and that it is not very counterintuitive. I had to move my cursor way up to the top to move it. There's some things that need to be ironed out, but I was pleasantly surprised. Now I have to talk about this one last thing. This thing did surprise me, drove me bonkers. Oh my God. So the only way, and I'm being very honest here, the only way that I could get flame shot or any you know program to you know take a screenshot to work was if my screencast was working then it would take a picture otherwise it wouldn't take a picture and even worse i would have to restart my computer in order to get the screenshot thing to work in obs because if that screenshot thing doesn't work, I think this is a Wayland thing. If it doesn't work, yeah, um, you're not going to be recording your screen. It's just going to freeze on you. And you're just going to, you know, uh, be recording a blank screen, basically. Some things that I learned, I, I guess, is what I'll say. But... For the most part, I have to say that I'm really pleasantly surprised. What do you think of Plasma 6 and some of the issues that I faced and, and all of that stuff? Leave me a comment in the section below. I really want to hear about it. I'm really curious. Maybe you have a, a suggestion or something. And now I have to talk about whether or not I would actually use this for my daily driver. And I gotta say, I kind of doubt it and the reason behind it is it's just not quite ready it's close it's not far off the other thing is is i don't normally use a conventional desktop environment so that probably leaves this out because i like titled window managers could i see myself using plasma 6 from time to time probably I'm thinking I'm going to give this an honest-to-God chance.